back to the A Plus Show. Hi guys, I'm so glad that you've come back to my channel. I've been gone for about three weeks now, but I have a awesome reason as to why. One of those weeks I was in Cuba, so like the week prior to that, I was just hectic trying to get everything in order to be gone for such a long period of time to a country where you have like no access to your bank cards um, or like internet and things like that. So then, you know, I was gone a week and then this week that just passed, I've just been trying to catch up and get my life back together and organized and back to the swing of things. So I'm ready to come back and start uploading for you guys every Sunday and every Wednesday, like I said. So just bear with me a minute if that takes a little longer to get back up and running as um, I would like. But this video is going to be my final review on this hair that I have been wearing. I've done a video, of course, before. And this is on my um, Indian hair from Bundle Queens, the Queen of Bundles, of all-in-one hair store. Like, as I said before, they have, like, several names. And the names may different, uh, be different based on the location, but they're all affiliated with each other. They have locations in Tampa, locations in Atlanta. Um, if it's not Atlanta specifically, it's in Georgia. They have location in um, Daytona, I believe, and location in Tampa. So this is my second, yeah, my second style of hair that I purchased from them. I have some straight hair somewhere in this world that I absolutely love, and that was my first purchase, first purchase from them. And then I have this hair. So this hair, as you know, I absolutely love the company. If you follow me on Instagram, I always like post and say nice things about the company and the quality of the hair for a nice affordable price. So I'm just going to recap on what my experiences have been, what I have going on, and what I've been using with this hair. So first, um, if you follow me on social media, like I said, you see that I had first got the hair and I just, um, it was a wig. It was already made wig. And I bought it from her and I had leave out. So I loved it. My hair blended wonderfully with it. Um, it just was work. It, it was work to try to get your hair to kind of mimic this pattern of curl or wave or whatever it is that you want to call it. So I was like, okay, when I go to Cuba, I want to be in the water, near the water, and I don't want to be worried about leave out. And I'm so glad that I did that. So what I did was I purchased a closure from the company. I purchased a 14-inch closure. And that was just like the best thing that I ever did. And so I am wearing the coat closure now. As you can see, um, my blonde hair is starting to come back. So I am getting ready to take this wig off. And I might just get it put back on. I'm not sure. I'm still debating that. But um, I have the closure. She, um, you know, pulled some hair out to give me a more defined part. And I absolutely love it. It's the best thing, best decision that I've ever made. This hair stood up like none other when I was in Cuba like the winds were so strong y'all it was just crazy I didn't just like submerge myself into the beach all day because the the waves were just ferocious so and it was kind of cool down there um, they say it's their winter so uh it was like even though it was warmer than it is like in a lot of places in the United States it still was um their winter so the wind was just crazy. My hair was like wrapping all around my neck. It was just blah, blah, blah and everywhere. And it was just, ugh. But this hair was like still gorgeous. No matter what happened, no matter what I did, this hair was still gorgeous. It was easy, so easy to maintain. And I'm absolutely so thankful for it. So give it a kiss. So basically, <laughs> let me go into like what I do on a daily basis. This is how I wear it at night. So... I just went ahead and just kept it like this to show you guys. I would make this just a little bit more, um, these twists or plaits or whatever, just a little bit more tighter at night. But basically, this is what I do. And sometimes, like when I was in Cuba, I just kind of walked around like this. You know, we were just lounging by the pool and things like that, sightseeing um, around different little cities. And I would just wear it like this, and it was just fine to me. No problems. I didn't feel like... Um, it looked a mess or anything. It just was like, and sometimes I had more than one braid, more than two braids. 
So just, I, I just think the hair is just gorgeous. How I'll spray it with um, this mixture of conditioner and water. And the the conditioner that I've been using is this silicone mix. Okay, so I spray it, put it in these two plaits, and then I will just, you know, put my bonnet on and go to sleep. When I came back from Cuba, what I started doing, which was just this week past, is what I uh, started doing was I get some silicone mix. I just put it like on my hair in random places, just kind of rub it in while the hair is dry. And then I just get in the shower, shower up, and then I just start rinsing it out in the shower. And so when I do it like that, it does really, really bring the curls back. Uh, better than when I just spray it with the water and conditioner mix so that is an option you just have to be careful it's like it's getting cool in my area and having um, that water even though I try not to get my braids and things soaked, it just kind of you know probably gets wet and then your hair is you know damp for a longer period of time because you just kind of you know submerged it under water but yes I do like the result of using the silicone mix getting in the shower and then just rinsing it out I do love the result of the curls better than just spraying it with the conditioner and water mix all right so when I got back from Cuba what I did and I just wanted to try something else on the hair other than the silicone mix because that's pretty much what I've been using so I had some of this some of this coconut oil um a deep repair mask left and then I have this uh, organics coconut water conditioner so I mixed both of these put it on the hair and I just kind of walked around did some things you know unpacked my suitcase or whatever with this stuff on my hair and then when I got ready to go somewhere I just rinsed it out oh my gosh the hair was super soft super amazing it just bounced back it was just like the bomb this is the comb that I use to comb out the hair okay so what I found is that when the hair is dry and you try to like comb it out it does like get tangled and you will easily get some knots however when the hair is really moisturized and it's in a wet state I really don't get any shedding I mean sometimes I get a few strands but a lot of times I get no strands it just you know it just varies on but the hair feels like doing that day. So I'm going to undo this. And you want to make sure you start like at the very bottom taking um, the plait out. Because it will like get tangled and not up if you start too far up. So you just work your way in small sections taking it out. See that one wasn't that bad because it wasn't tight. So I start at the bottom. Work it in small sections. and I take it out. So if I wanted to I could comb through it but I really don't need to but I will just show you just how easily the comb goes through it. I feel like when you comb it it just kind of makes it um, it increases the volume of the hair so the hair gets uh, larger and if you want that desired look then you know you could just kind of comb all through it like if i was to take the comb and start doing like this like this here just starts getting real poofy but see that and i have no strands on the comb so yeah that's basically what i have been doing Although you have to kind of wet it and moisturize it every day. Other than that, this hair is like so low maintenance. I, I just love it. Like I, I want to take it off because I want to wear something different. I just like to switch up. But this is just so easy, breezy. It's like, oh, I'll probably just throw it back on. But I feel like I need to get my hair redone because my hair is growing out and my closure is starting to come back more. And so it's like way off my... um. <laughs> off my uh the edges the perimeter of my hairline and so I want to get it you know brought back some so I'm going to turn around and show you beauties the hair back As you see it just moves it's like perfect perfect so I highly recommend that you go check out uh, the hair store, All in One, Queen of Bundles, Bundle King. I will link the names, uh, will put the names down below in the description bar. 
you can definitely check them out on Instagram. Make sure you follow them so you can stay up to date with their, um, when they get new hair in style. They might be having a sale or something. Especially around the holidays, I guess a lot of hair companies might have sales. I don't know. But I'm definitely a loyal customer. I will continue to purchase hair from them. I don't really need any hair right now. Like, if you guys could see this room, it's, it's, it's stuff everywhere. And it's like hair here, hair there. And I'm like, what is it? Where is all this hair coming from? But, <laughs> yeah. That's my final review. And... Oh my gosh, I believe that this hair is Indian, I don't know, I'll try to find it. The girl who made the wig, she posted it, it's some kind of, I don't know, deep curl or something, I don't know. Oh, one thing, I'll probably be purchasing uh, one bundle from them soon because when I bought the 14, it made such a um, line of like demarcation from where the 14 meets think the 16 or something like that or it might be an 18 I, I don't know so I need like one length to kind of like fall up in here so it won't be like the hair stops here and then the rest of it is like down here so I just kind of need to make that transition look smoother so I might purchase another bundle but I don't know once I wet it and get it you know it you really can't tell but when it's dry you can um, tell the whole lot easier so yeah.